you're closer to an adult than you are a child. Like, okay, cool. Y'all like making up stuff, okay? Tell me more. What else you heard about me? I feel like I said it's that simple a thousand times throughout this video, but it is, it's that simple. <laughs> I feel like I'm really like, yeah. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Harmo back with another freaking video. Welcome if you are new, welcome back if you are not. Today I'm going to be giving advice to high school students, freshmen, up. Because if you're a senior, you need advice, this is for you. If you're a junior, you need advice, this is for you. If you're a sophomore, you need advice, this is for you. If you're a freshman, this is most definitely for you. Because you're entering a whole new world. Come on, let's talk. Just, just come over here, let's talk. It's not, it's not going to be that serious, just, let's, just, let's talk. I'm going to put y'all down on some game. Give y'all tips and tips and tricks to finesse your way through high school smoothly. I am a senior this year, so I kind of got the hang of things, you know what I'm saying? I have 14 things written down. I'm going to go in depth. And I think I have another thing I want to add that I didn't type in here. So, yeah, let's get started. Try to maintain an AB average. It's not as hard as it sounds. To maintain an A-B average, all you have to do is turn in your work. Like, just turn your work in. It, it won't hurt. Just turn it in. Even if you don't feel like doing it, turn it in. You get A's and B's by being consistent and, like, on your stuff. And you can do it by being transparent with your teacher. Like, if you have a hard time with your work, let your teacher know. Nine to ten times they're going to understand. They're going to break it down to you. Or they'll give you a longer deadline so you can turn it in correctly and get a good grade for it, if you know what I'm saying. Also, use your resources. We don't got the internet for nothing. Like, Quizly, Brainly, uh, Quiz is all them, all them little platforms. They're going to get you right. I'm telling y'all, copy and paste y'all questions if y'all need help with it. Not to times, it's going to be on Google. It's going to pop up. You know, like, use your resources, like, milk your resources. I used to have so much trouble with math. For some reason, like, these A, B, Z, Ds plus minus F is not for me. So I use photo math or, like, math pop on and, like, math engines that was on Google to help me out. So don't be afraid to use your resources and be transparent with your teacher so you can maintain the A, B average. This will help you in the future for your GPA and if you're interested in going to college. And it just looks good, you know? A, B, honor roll, period. All A, honor roll, period. Don't play with you. Stay on your work. You don't want to take credit recovery. Like, I, I kid you not, I never had to take it personally, but I have friends who took credit recovery, and they like, dang, I should've just did the work. It was way easier than credit recovery, you know? And credit recovery is more time consuming. You have a small time frame to finish a lot of work. And if you don't finish it, you write back in there or you might have to take some to school. So just get the work over it. Most teachers are okay with you submitting work late. And some aren't. So just be on your work. You don't want to be in credit recovery class. I promise you, you don't. You want to be in that classroom right now, you just want to get it over it. That should be your goal, just to get it over with and get it done. Try to come prepared. You know, <laughs> always have a pencil with you because your teachers... They may or may not have a pencil, and your friends may or may not have a pencil. So you always have a pencil. Always have a pencil and some paper. Because I'm not sure how everybody's schools are, but in the state of Georgia, as far as I know, we are mostly computer-based, but we do still have some teachers that want you to write. So just always have paper, pencils in your possession. And if you're one of them people that have to use your computer, don't lose your computer charger because they charge you for it. Don't lose your computer because they charge you for it. Don't lose your case because I'm sure they charge you for that too. Just try to keep up with everything and keep all your resources in your bag. Now, this one is a big one for me, time management. I have an issue with it, but I've been working on it. I've gotten better over the years. Try to manage your time as much as possible, especially if you're involved in extracurriculars because, like, I'm a cheerleader. I mean, like... 
three clubs. Last year I was I was a cheerleader in three clubs and I did track and field. So I had to maintain my work, practices, all that in one little bunch. So just try to manage your time. Plan ahead if you can, cause some teachers lay out what y'all doing for the week and you already know what you have going on. So you need to try to get it done. So you can have your free time when it comes to your extracurricular activities and you can actually focus. So like what I would do is while you're in class, do your classwork as fast as you can, but do it correctly. If you need to take your time, take your time. But if you're able to finish that classwork and they assign homework, start your homework in class so you don't have to worry about it when you get home. Or after practice, after your meetings, just get your work done as fast as possible. Do it correctly because they will dot points if something is incorrect. And I feel like it's better to get everything done instead of just staying up late, submitting in late work. Because... Most teachers, they take points away the later the assignment is. So you turn in something late, and it might be incorrect. It's going to dock extra points because you've been up tired. So just try to manage your time as much as possible. This will help you throughout high school. And this will be a big factor in your life outside of high school. You have to learn how to manage your time. Do things that's important so you can have time for things that are fun. Yeah. So teachers in middle school were like, preparing you for high school and then your teachers in high school are preparing you for like the outside world so if you ever have any problems or issues you want to talk about and you got like a cool high school teacher feel free to talk to them they'll give you some good advice and they'll help guide you smoothly through they really like they tell us setting stones that will benefit us when we're out of high school because after you leave high school you either go to college or you don't so now you're entering the adult world which means college you really have to be able to stand by yourself so they are cheating us more like adults in high school when instead in middle school you're getting babied a little bit high school you don't get baby you're just like um you're closer to an adult than you are a child your teachers are here to help you for the outside world in high school yeah they will have a lot of stories for you to listen to. So just listen. You might learn something from their stories. You might not. They just be a little good kiki. <laughs> Dual enrollment versus AP and honors. I just figured all this out my senior year. So I'm going to let you know right now. Dual enrollment is the most beneficial class that you could take to challenge you instead of AP and honors. AP and honors are... Okay, honors is like a regular course, just more challenging because the students in the classroom are able to move faster, you know. Then you got the AP students. AP students is basically like you're taking a college course in high school. And at the end, you take a test. And depending on what you get on the test, determines whether or not if you're getting a college credit. So if you failed the test, you just get your regular high school credit and you took that class for no reason. While dual enrollment is an actual college course you take at a college, they have virtual and in-person um, classes, of course. And what it is, you get your college credit and your high school credit. And my counselor informed me that if you make a B in your college course, it counts as a high school A. So either way, you're adding on to your GPA and your um, transcript. Who wouldn't want that? So my advice to you is if you're a student who wants to challenge themselves and make their GPA super high, take dual enrollment courses. It's more beneficial than AP and honors. Yeah. That's my advice, y'all. That, that's going to get you what you want. That's how you get on 4.0s and up dual enrollment courses. And that's what they're not telling y'all. Don't stress yourself out over AP and honors. Go straight to dual enrollment. Now we're moving on to like the more friend side and who to hang around. Try to be self-aware. Be aware of your actions and how what you're doing affects people around you. You have to be self-aware. And surround yourself around people who have the same likes and interests as you. Who tend to stray away from conflict and drama. I say this because I'm a person who doesn't really like to be in drama. Because it's like draining and there's a lot of energy. So I tend to hang around people who aren't in drama so i won't be in drama you know 
I know it's cliche, but you are the people you hang around, which is not necessarily true. But when certain people you hang around are always in something, you are end up in something with them because that's your friend. You don't want to back them up, right? Just be with a friend that don't be in drama. <laughs> it's that simple. If you just chilling, if you a chill person who don't want to be in drama, hang around the people who are in drama, and that's how you. That's how you refrain from being in drama and conflict. And being self-aware, you have to be able to notice when you're doing something that's not cool. Like, something that you wouldn't like somebody doing to you, you need to be able to realize, oh, damn, I really just did that to them. That's messed up. You got to hold yourself accountable, okay? I say this is, like, a big thing for me because I'm a social person. Just a little bit. I'm a social person. So be involved. Join clubs. Join sports teams. Or both. I'm both. Um, some clubs are free, so if you don't really feel like you have the funds to be in the sports, because sports in high school do cost a lot, um, just join the club. Not a t like most clubs are free, you know, or you just have to pay like five dollars. It's not that it's not that much when compared to sports teams. It's like a hundred plus, you know. I say join these because it keeps you active and. Instead of being bored in the house, getting into trouble, you can be at the school still and doing something more productive. This is also a way for you to interact with different people and you can be social. You may or may not make friends while joining these clubs and sports. You can build friendships, you stay active, you stay out of trouble, and it gives you something to focus on when you're not learning. This is the truth. Friends will come and go throughout high school. You may have a clique that you grew up with from middle school. Y'all might separate. And it's okay because people outgrow each other. And that's normal. And you'll be more intentional with the people you hang around. You'll realize, oh, this is not for me. And it's okay to have a small circle. You could be cool with everybody, but you don't have to be friends with everybody. Everybody, you don't have to consider your friend. You could just be cool with them. You don't have to have beef with them or nothing. It's okay to have like a small circle. I will. Your two, three main friends that you really are close with. Instead of being close with everybody, not knowing who are genuinely your friends. Expand your friend group. I feel like it's a big thing for people to click up and not get to meet other people. And that's bad. It's really bad. Because when y'all graduate high school, y'all may or may not talk to each other again. After you graduate high school... Y'all might go y'all separate ways. People go to different colleges. People lead to different pathways. So who's to say that y'all still gonna be friends? So why not be more versatile and have different friends? Just be open-minded. You may or may not have something in common with somebody else. You will never know until you get in the chance. So don't just stay clicked up with the same little group. It's okay to have friends outside your group. It's okay. The truth about relationships in high school are their test runs. <laughs> they're test runs so don't devote your time your mental your emotional mindset like don't devote your all into your partner you still need to make time for yourself because i kid you not it's a very 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 rare especially in these times for you to be with the same person that you was with in middle school and high school and while y'all adults so don't take it personal. When you and a person break up, just treat them as a lesson. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's going to be more people you're going to find. You're going to have more people that you're going to like down the timeline. Yeah, it may hurt just for a little bit. It's not going to hurt forever. It's okay. I promise y'all, like they say, it's plenty of fish in the sea. It's plenty of fish in the sea. And you're beautiful. So don't take it to heart. When you get in a relationship in high school and it doesn't work out, treat it as a test run. Everything was going to be okay. <laughs> I promise you. Trust me, it's going to be okay. Because when you're grown and you're an adult, then what? You might find somebody else. Is that something? So now, this is just like a mental thing I say, dude. You should start preparing yourself for the future. You don't have to have everything planned out like, oh, I want to be this when I grow up. Because people change that every day. Just have an idea of where you want to be in the future. Say for instance, like me, 
I want to be somebody who's like a talk show person or something like that. Like, I have a vision, but it's not set in stone. It's like, okay, I see myself doing this. You don't have to do it for sure. Just having a vision of what you want to be or what you want to do when you get out of high school. Because I promise y'all, it happens so fast. So just have the mindset, okay, this is an idea of what I want to do. And try to build towards that as you're going through high school. So you can prepare yourself mentally and emotionally and physically for whatever you're planning on doing after you graduate. Because it's going to come faster than you think. I promise y'all, it came super fast for me. And take that time to grow as a person. Like, learn yourself. Take time to learn who you are in order to become the person you want to be in your vision. This is like a little trick, a little tip for you to go through things smoothly. Always be respectful to administration and staff members. That's including like the lunch people, the custodians especially your teachers and administrations like the principal the ap all of that counselors everybody that's an adult in that building try your hardest to remain respectful because the people that be disrespectful to administration and styles they don't get away with a lot of things like they do one they blink wrong they get in trouble so just be respectful even if they do something you don't like you can go about it respectfully and let them know or just don't say that at all because me, when I see a staff member doing something I'm not keen to, I just be like, sorry, I like, I know you did not just say that. It's just awkward. Just, just vibe, you know, don't be rude to them. Try not to have a smart mouth because they will remember your face. They may not remember your name, but they remember your face and they will always nitpick at you and make your high school experience terrible. Like, they will hawk you down every chance they get you know say you did something even if you don't after you you be disrespectful one time they're gonna try their hardest to make sure you stay in trouble so they can get you out that school so just don't even say too much just look at them that's what i do you don't even have to look at them just ignore them it's that simple like right? especially if they doing something you not can of like if you don't really mess with what they doing you're not vibing with it it's like <sighs> That's all you gotta do. Just do that. <laughs> and they gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna leave them alone. Yeah. And if they do something that's very disrespectful to you, tell your parents and let them handle that. Because they respect adults more than they expect us. And I know it's the sad truth, but they'll hear your parents out before they hear you out. So, if anybody, like an administration for staff, do something that you're really not messing with, let it slide. Tell your parents. Be like, hey, get their first and last name. So-and-so said this, this, and this to me. And then your parents will make a call, um, a meeting with them and handle that. It's that simple. Your guardian, whoever you. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm a cheerleader or because I'm an SGA, but I feel like have school spirit. Come on, just have school spirit. Make the best of your high school time. Don't be like, oh my gosh, this is so lame. Like, embrace it. It's okay to be corny sometimes, it's okay to wear your school colors. It won't hurt nobody. Just sh show up and show out. Be I'm a wildcat, so I'm the proudest wildcat ever. <laughs> like you gotta have school spirit. School spirit. Um, I don't know. It just makes you look at school from a different point of view. Instead of hating your school, just be like, okay, this school kind of, uh, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, make the best of it. Even like everybody have their bad days, you know, everybody have ups and downs. So make the best of the situation by embracing the school that you go to. It's okay. On the spirit week, show up and show out. I don't pair probably show up and show out. Just make it fun. You have to make school fun. Because if you don't, it's going to be terrible. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is. You're going to be just like, oh my gosh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm so serious. This is one of my last ones I have in here. Don't be shy. Or afraid to be yourself. I kid you not. There's more than likely. At least two people. Who have something to come with you at your school. And if you feel like it's not. It is. I promise you. And if there isn't anybody who shares common interests with you. It's okay. Just be you. You'd rather be yourself than be a follower. Because being a follower won't lead you nowhere. I promise you. Being a follower won't leave you nowhere but down. 
Because you can't follow somebody else because that's not who you are. Just be true to you. And that would be like the best thing you could do throughout high school. Continue to be yourself. Don't let anybody persuade you to be something you're not. Be you. And you should be perfectly fine. This is a bonus one I didn't write in my notes. I feel like it's best to ignore rumors. I promise y'all, rumors happen every in every high school. It's not one high school you won't hear a rumor about somebody. And I say don't feed into rumors that are made of other people. And if rumors are made about you, ignore them. Don't go to the internet going back and forth for people who make rumors with you. It just makes the situation worse and it dwells on it. And by ignoring a rumor, it just disappears. It's so many students in one high school. Everybody chatting about somebody, this, this, and that. They're going to forget the rumor they even made up about you. So just let it bypass it. It may hurt your feelings, so talk to your friends about it. Don't talk to the internet about it. I promise you it won't help you at all. It's going to lead to something that you wish you would never lead to. And especially if it's not a true rumor, don't let it, don't let it stress you out. You're like, okay, cool. Y'all like making up stuff, okay? Tell me more. What else you heard about me? You know, you gotta have that mindset. Don't be like, oh my gosh, they're saying this about me. I can't believe it. I would never. Uh, don't even explain yourself to no folks. Cause if you know you didn't do it, you didn't do it. Period. It's that simple. If you didn't do it, you didn't do it. You don't have to go back and forth for nobody. You don't have to explain yourself to nobody. Cause you know who you are. You know what you do and don't do. It's that simple. Period. I feel like I said it's that simple a thousand times throughout this video, but it is. It's that simple. So if y'all want a part two to this, I have so much more advice and tips I can give to y'all. I could go on and on and on, but I didn't want to make this video super duper long. So yeah, that'll be it for today. This is something different I've done. I'm glad y'all sat down and talked with me. I'm glad. Yeah. Um, that's it for this video. Comment down your favorite tip. Or if you already graduated, or if you're an uh, upperclassman, if you're in high school, comment down below some tips you have that I didn't mention. And that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Instagram at the TheOnly.Harmo2Wise and on TikTok at OK.Harmo. And I'm out. Bye, guys.